Hi there, little girl. <laughs> How you doing there? Sure I do have a nice area. You know. Is it that room with probably... the, Is it the room with the big giant Ridley head? Not yet, no. Well, I'll figure it out. Yeah. Hey, why don't you tell the audience about the super cool thing that you got the other day? Oh, yeah. Well, uh Yeah, I went out to some uh game shops yesterday. Um, I was kind of had to drive out a long ways anyway, so I figured might as well while I'm out see if I can pick something up. There was a game store here here in Denton where uh, it's called Freaks and Geeks and they have like lots of retro games and uh, they have like comic books and toys and all that stuff and one of the things that caught my eye there that was really cool was this uh vinyl record thing it was it was two vinyls in this uh and I, I don't i don't even have a uh, record player i don't have a vinyl collection i'm not that kind of guy but basically it's uh the music from the first three metroid games so so this one and then metroid one and two ripped straight from the cartridges and uh, put on, like digitized and put on vinyl. And uh, it's kind of a rare thing where it's only like 700 of them. You have this dude in Austin. I don't know the guy's name, but dude in Austin is his name as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, and like the artwork is really, really cool. It's, ba it's based off of uh, like old rock albums and stuff. So uh, the Super Metroid cover is based off of um, Smashing Pumpkins, uh, Melon Cop, Melancholy, and the... Melon Cop. Yeah. Yeah, and Melancholy and the, and the Melon Cop. Melon Cop and the Infinite Sadness. Yeah. What am I, Melon? <laughs> You're under arrest. I'm sad. <laughs> Just a watermelon with a cop's hat. <laughs> uh, and then the, uh, cover for the original Metroid is based off of uh, Velvet Underground and Nico. But it's, it's instead of the banana, it's Samus in the Morpho mode. And apparently, like, I haven't, like, peeled it back to see, but it, it's a sticker. And if you peel back the sticker, apparently you can see Samus curled up inside. So, a lot of really cool details of the art and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's, a. Uh, it's a really cool, rare thing I picked up. Well, I guess I took pictures of it. You can maybe throw the pictures in the video. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's just a kind of cool little collectible thing I got. Oh yeah, I forgot about that room that I need the grapple beam to access. There's a thing way back here that I forgot about. Oh yeah. I think I remember what you're talking about. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Uh, uh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be another Benny Hill instance <laughs> in it. Can't even tell what's going on over there. Shit. Owie. Well now, what's all this thing? I don't know, you have to hit the wall. You have to shoot the thing from the other side, so... Uh, it doesn't look like you can actually approach from the other side, so you may 
need to have another way to, to shoot the uh, target thing by the wall. It's always something with you, game, isn't it? I have to approach that little room area from the other end, is what you're saying? Or find a way to... You have to find a way to shoot the little target from the other side right now. Like something that can pass through. Uh, okay. Oh, god damn it. But I mean, unless you can, like, shoot through walls now, like, you're probably gonna be like, yeah. Yeah, I need a beam that can shoot through the walls. Meanwhile, there's whole areas for you to check out. I'm swinging right now, leave me alone. Yeah, you're on the playground. Yeah, fuck you. It's recess now, bitch. I found recess because I don't play! Hello, missiles. Hello. Mm. Fancy, let me take you here. You come around here often? I bet you do because you're an inanimate object. And this is the only space that you can. Uh, Possibly take up unless somebody moves you. Baby. <laughs> I'm wet. Yeah. But just just because you just got out of the tub. Well, I'm, I'm so in the tub, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we're in a bathtub together playing Super Metroid. We're pretty cool like that. Fuck! Can I still not access that blue strip of shit below me? Well, it's time for more fun with Shine Sparking. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look, me too, Bobby! Fuck. Now it's time for me to suck at this some more. I guess I need to go down to Norfair. And do some Norfair shit. Or go to Mar or go to that one tube with the water and do water things with it. You can try that. Both of these are interesting proposals. So more backtracking. You want to urban dictionary us a little bit? Sure. We might as well because I mean we're getting like no good commentary out of this session. Like I'll be honest with you. Yeah. St. Louis Groundhog? The St. Louis Groundhog. The St. Louis Groundhog is the first person spotted peed in an alley behind one's building, signifying the official beginning to spring in downtown St. Louis. <laughs> wow, I can... I've never been there, I'm, I'm voting that. Yeah. Fuck St. Louis. He's not even a real saint. He's just a comedian. St. Louis, hello. Oh, God. One, noun, a fart. <laughs> Two, noun, a purposeful fart <laughs> by the man during sex. <laughs> I wish I just left it at a purposeful fart. <laughs> yeah. Like, there we go. We had to really differentiate between those two. Yeah. The different flavors here. <laughs> here I am in water too. <laughs> this one sounds kind of familiar, actually. We have heard before. Uh, St. Louis hood ornament. Oh god. Taking a shit on the hood of someone's car, leaving them a hood ornament out of your poo. That's a Chicago summer. But without the sunroof. No, man, it's a St. Louis hood ornament. <laughs> Fuck me in the fucking dick. I recall this area as being the place where I was trying to shine spark to get that one item, yeah. and I kept failing at it, and I gave up. Because I suck. 
it, it sucked out your morale. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Bitch ass. It was that one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, probably I'm better just to explore. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with that. I am in no way 100%ing this game. I'll be lucky to beat it. That's the spirit! Yeah. Fucking Meridia. Meridia can't breathe. It's water. Such a great band. Uh huh. Didn't we? Didn't we discover them because they were opening for Fall of Troy? Uh. Or was it some other band they were opening for that you were there to see? They were, uh, I was there for Stolen Babies. Uh, and it was, uh, Ota for Headlining, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it was that one. It was, like, his Halloween show. Yeah, it, it was definitely that one. Yeah. Because everyone, had, everyone had the costumes on and shit. Yeah. Yeah. They have great songs about eating peanut butter jelly sandwiches every day for the rest of your life until you die. Mm -hmm. It's great stuff. Yeah, and Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Uh, he's a man. He, he did drugs. Yeah. And he says winning. He said a bunch of other stupid shit right around that time. Yeah. Uh, hilarious. A fucking stupid smackhead asshole. Or whatever the fuck he was on, Coke. No, if smack he was on Smack, head. if he was on Smack, he'd be too fucking sleepy to say dumbass shit. I think he could use a few smacks in the head. Yeah, probably. Oh, while you're exploring around Meridia here, be careful to watch out for the St. Louis jellyfish. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, these are the result of when a man ejaculates into liquid, normally water, such as bathtub, pool, hot tub, cup, etc., etc. Gross. And it seems like some some alternate names are bath cum, semen in water, tub cum, water jack off, jerk off water. Tub. Which is probably like smart water. It's got electrolytes. I want to see an advertisement for tub cum, personally. Yeah. It's like tub thumping. <laughs> I come in the tub! Then I get in again! Why did I come in the tub? <laughs> <laughs> A 90s classic. <laughs> Indeed. God damn it. God damn it! People were just really bored coming down after the 80s. Yeah, you need something to do. Oh, this is pissing me off. Ooh, what did that crab just do? Crab walked. Oh, I don't know. Okay, through the wall. <laughs> Are you saying that to give me a hint, or is that a glitch? It's probably not a glitch. It could be a possible hint, but it's not something I I know. I'm just saying I noticed it. Okay. Anyway, uh, there's the St. Louis lunatic. I guess everyone 
would know about him. All right, so you gotta shit on your girl's chest, then titty fuck her with the poo as as a lube, then come on her face yelling "Underlay, underlay, mama, ia ia, uh oh," like the Nelly song. I had a shit while fucking that trick so bad, they decided to give her the St. Louis lunatic. It was crazy. Three up votes, 11 down votes. Thank you, Big Don Lubon. Probably from every single woman he's ever slept with. Plus 10. Plus 11. <laughs> This sounds spooky. <laughs> oh, hey, this room. Oh, boy. All right. My favorite room. Fuck. Get the fuck out of the sand. Sandmus Aran. Get out of the fucking sand. Get out of the fucking. Get out of the. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> right, <up>, cowboy. <laughs> My friends did this to me. Get- Herbie. STOP IT! Fucking space flea <laughs> bastards. Dude, so you had to do it. <laughs> and meanwhile, these assholes are just hitting me the entire yeah. fucking time. They're just, they're just throwing rocks at you. Pricks. I just throw my children out. There's the, the St. Louis nip. Mm -hmm. This sounds like a really great good drink. That's racist. Yeah. When you find a girl who likes to swallow horse semen. Horse semen or hor horse? Horse semen. semen. Okay. Very this, important That's a great start to any sentence. And you get her to toss her salad while getting double teamed by two horses. And then she gargles all the juices together and blows bubbles with it. Can't you just buy chewing gum? And for some reason, it's the same Louis nip. I would think someone would nibbles, but apparently not. Oh my god. I, am Can I about to those? die? No, I tried to freeze him. Get. Yeah, I can't seem uh, to freeze. I guess not. Nope. What in the fuck? Prick. I just realized I haven't even saved. I need, I'm gonna go save. Probably good idea. Cause I'm dying. But first I gotta once again traverse this fucking room. Yeah. Which means I am going to die. Absolutely. And I probably haven't saved in like years, so I'm fucked. When would I save last? In my fucking ship or something? Either that or in the womb. Yeah. Hey. This was not even a sex move. It's some Guns N' Roses thing. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've read about that, the yeah. fucking- Oh, no, I'm fucked. I can't get out of here. Ooh. I hate those fucking things so much. Well, now I gotta try and progress. Until I find a save room. Or die. IRL. Ooh. 
gonna try and grind a little health, I guess. Yeah, go for it. But yeah, the, uh, the St. Louis Riot. It's another badass Axel event. Another in a long string of great things that Axel Rose has done. Uh, some cunt brought a camera to a Guns N' Roses concert. That bitch. And Axel Rose, the frontman, saw it and yelled for the security to take it away. They didn't notice what he was talking, what he was taking about, so he impulsively dived off the stage to get it from him. The security threw him back on stage, to which Axel announced, "Thanks to the lame-ass security, I'm going home." This started an extremely infamous riot. St. Louis riot. Yeah, it was obnoxious and stupid, but seriously, this guy is hilarious. Thank you, Katie, in parentheses, in love with Slash. One upvote, two downvotes. Axl Rose is probably the upvote. Or the townvote. Because yeah. he's probably matured since then and he feels ashamed. On the other hand, maybe he hasn't. Who knows? Anyway, I found progress. Progress is my middle name. Oh, I'm back oh. here! That is progress. Nice. Well, I found the I'm, I'm back at a save room, at least. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. I feel like that's pretty much it, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you, you got the direct ship, you beat Pantoon. I got the, uh, suit. Oh, in a new area, gravity, eh? so suit got to Meridia. Yeah, I feel like that's a session. Session four crossed off. <laughs> Thank you.